Well, hello and welcome back. Every time I watch a Seinfeld episode, I realize that it would have been perfect with their characters, you know, sitting around talking and obsessing about the most banal and mundane absurdities. And after all, this is what mainly constitutes humanity now, the trite details of everyday life. I would have fit right in with them in such a great cast, too. However, I don't have any acting background, though it can't be that difficult. I never forgot the line that Zach Galifianakis said to himself, that he never forgets what his m grandmother said right before she passed away. And she said, what are you doing? If you think about that, you'll get it. <laughs> All I really want to do now is to be a DJ, and it wouldn't be me spinning your head around. The songwriters, musicians, and producers would do that. My only purpose is to pick out the songs that would achieve that, and I can do that. I enjoy the word zeitgeist, which means the defining mood or spirit of a particular period of history as shown by the ideas and beliefs of the time. And you have to wonder what the zeitgeist would be for our time, and of course, what time period do we choose to measure? For me personally, I would define it from the period of around the early 1990s with the expansion of communication via the internet, cell phones, and overwhelming data accumulation and analysis along with the culture wars, political and social polarization, which has created a paranoia and deep divide in humanity. Nothing new to humanity either. Along with the reality of global warming and climate change, which is having a critical impact on our planet. That's the best I could do. But being around for nearly 70 years, one realizes that there is always going to be divides in beliefs, politics, and science. Every time period in our history from the beginning of time has had its challenges. However, the challenges seem to be escalating as we move forward, especially concerning climate change. Hopefully, we can change and improve on the next zeitgeist that follows. And just remember, I'm doing the worst I can. Have you ever thought that due to the life alert system, somebody's husband or wife is still alive? <laughs> I don't know where it came up with that one. And what's the deal with decaffeinated coffee? Doesn't everyone drink coffee for the buzz or for the pick-me-up? I don't see the point. I mean, I would snort caffeine if it was advisable, but please note it's not advisable at all, so don't do it. And it looks as though my dear wife may be retiring fairly soon from a 45-year career as a travel agent, and she was able to travel all over the world, and she's fearless. She's been in India, Dubai, Japan a few times over, Australia, much of Europe, Hawaii, Brazil, Argentina, the Azores, Mexico, to several Caribbean islands, Hong Kong, Macau, and even Russia. She never turns down an opportunity to travel, basically because it's a, get, it's a great way to get away from me and have fun in another country. So she takes off. <laughs> so since she might be retiring soon, I fear that my ex existence might be shortened a bit or maybe even shortened quite a bit. She loves her job, and well, I guess I'll have to adjust to the change. I'm used to either being away from the home since I was working long days for decades, and then once I was let go, I was home on my own eight to nine hours a day. Now things will, be, will change radically. You know, the honeydew thing, except I won't get the honey part anymore, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> and what the Republicans don't understand is the word legacy. However, politics does tend to have a short memory, so I guess that they know that, because if they didn't know that, it, for the last 60 years or so, would be a totally different story. They are now absolutely batshit, dishonest, despicable, shoddy, uninformed, lying, misleading, double-crossing, double deranged cult. For the life of me, I have no idea what they're doing, and I don't understand how anyone could vote for them. And they showed a bar graph of all the U.S. presidents that were indicted for crimes. And there was only one person on the chart, and we all know who that is. Okay, Nixon could have been on the chart, but Gerald Ford pardoned him back in 1974, I think it was. you got to love how these companies, stores, or service-oriented companies create the never-ending texts, phone calls, and or emails. First, by thanking you for being interested in their products or services, and depending on whether or not you have accepted their offer, they will either call you back, text or email you about the past client reviews, experience in the industry, or the decades of experience that they possess. And then, should you agree to bring them on board, here comes the barrage of information, such as your signature on the paperwork, which can take about an hour to read, 
the hour more of the requirements, what you will need to do in preparation, etc. And then when the salesperson leaves, the text, emails, and phone calls return as they need to thank you incessantly for taking them on. We're not done yet. Now the date has been selected and the barrage starts up again on the day or days before they arrive. The text, emails, and phone calls will let you know what time they expect to show up. Then they repeat the cycle for the actual day that they begin the job. Then when the job is finally done, they want you to rate their service via text, email, or phone. And honestly, this is an extremely tiring and spectacular amount of overkill. And as an example, I won't reveal the company's name, but since we made the purchases two, purchase, purchase two weeks ago, we have received nine emails, eight texts, and four phone calls about the delivery date. And I almost forgot it doesn't end there either. Once you get the product, there will be a whole chain of more text, emails, and phone calls on our new purchase. They will either text, email, or less likely call you long past your demise. This prompts me to never consider purchasing another major product or service again. And I realize that anyone still watching this video is going through the same thing. Too much information. I will stop here.